Hey guys, it is me once again, your inimitable, daring, dashing, hat-wearing host of Fancy. Uh, come to again today to talk to you just a little bit more about the Tom Waits Bad As Me release. Now, I know I've already gone into this a little bit with last night's video about the first two singles, Bad As Me and uh, Back In The Crowd, but today, for any fan or interested party who is not yet on the up and up, uh, you can... As of this point, as of this morning at some time, you can now uh, stream his album, his entire album, the whole thing, for free until this upcoming Friday. All you have to do is, if you are not on the mailing list already for his record label, all you have to do is go over to badasme.com, which is the website for the record and all that, and um, apparently you just have to sign up and uh, you'll receive, not only will you receive uh, an email to sign you up to go and listen to the record for free, you can also get up to five codes. It's five codes. You can get five codes to send to friends and uh, get them listening too. If you know any fellow Waits fans and you want to reach out and branch, um, really it's a very genius way to promote a record uh, early like this. And it's always cool when something comes out early like that, and I know I was really excited this morning when I woke up and I got the email about it, so of course I have went right over and I've listened through twice. And my full review will be coming along next week um, when I get the vinyl and I sit down with that, and we'll go over it a little more in depth then. But to anyone who hasn't heard the stream yet, now that you maybe you're watching this video and you're deciding, okay, I'm going to go sign up for the uh, the mailing list thing and I'm going to get the email and I'm going to see all this stuff and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to listen to it, by all means, do it. Because I'm only, I'm two listens in right now, two complete listen cycles through. And so far, I'm I'm very impressed. I Again, I, I, I always go back to album of the year talks when um, I get into this, like you know, what I'm going to have on my, my list and my top five at the end of the year. Impossible to say, but this is really, really solid from him. If you like Tom, you're going to really, really like this, I think. It's not so much experimental. It's not so much maybe on the softer side all the time, but it ranges somewhere in between. I don't think I know him well enough to put it exactly to words, like what record this is, sounds like, or it, it sounds like a combination of records. It's kind of got that dusty feeling, kind of the, that um, kind of out there circusy kind of vaudevillian thing. It's got a bunch of different elements working for it at once, and it does. It isn't quite as intense as Real Gone was in spots, but. You have to decide for yourself. I'm not going to give it all the way now, and I'm not going to go into a long diatribe about it. That's for next week. For now, for anyone watching, your assignment is, if you want to listen to the new Tom Waits album, Bad As Me, you go to badasme.com, and you sign up on the mailing list. You hit the whatever it is. I didn't have to do it, so I don't exactly know. But you go over to badasme.com, you hit the little thing, you hit the drop down, and whatever, you put your email address in, and you, you wait, and you... You whistle a little bit and you wait, and then eventually, and this little email will come through, I'm sure, saying that, oh, now you can go and listen to this lovely 13-track album effort, and you will go over and your ears will thank you. I can guarantee that.